get started with a couple of different types of ropes. Now, we're gonna keep this simple. Anyone that knows what you're talking about when it comes to ropes and knots and everything else, this video is not for you. This is just some basics with a couple simple knots. The ones that I use most commonly, especially when I'm camping to help tie down, whether it's the tent or making even just a clothesline to put your towel and your swimsuit up, stuff like that, super simple. We're keeping it to the basics, all right? Let's get started with a couple of different types of rope or cord, or also it's known as cordelette. Most of what I have here is synthetic, except for this one. This is natural fiber. I'll talk a little bit about that shortly. So you're gonna have what is known as a laid or twisted rope, which is like this one here. I'll get more into the details of that. This is also one of those twisted ropes as well. And then you've got braided. So the rest of these are all braided. I'm gonna show you a close up of those and the difference between the two. Okay, the first one we're gonna talk about is this one right here. So this is the twisted or laid rope. This is probably the most common one that you've seen. You gotta kick it around in the garage and anytime you try to tie a knot, it doesn't stay, it just slips which tends to be the case unless you use a proper knot with this type of rope. So this one is a synthetic rope and um, I don't use these ones quite as much. However, there is also in the same design, this one here. So this one is also a twisted or laid rope, but as you can see, this one is a natural fiber. This is the type of rope that they would use on uh, fire department equipment and or ladders um, because it has a higher temperature rating. It won't necessarily melt as quick if it came into contact with that kind of heat. So that's where you would find this. Um, it's quite strong. I've used this to tow another vehicle before. So this one's always in the back of the Jeep um, and I can just use it as a utility. And uh, so I had a scrap piece. So that one just sticks around in the vehicle. You've also got your braided rope. So this is what you're gonna see nowadays. This one looks like a big heavy duty climbing rope. Um, it's not quite that thick, but this is a good utility rope. This is what I bring to the campground and I set up for our clothesline. This one I got, I think in a bundle of 100 feet. I cut it down to two 50 foot sections, which are a little bit more manageable. So this one is a synthetic braided rope. This was about the same size of the cordelette that is going to be on the string or cord that is on your tent. So the guy lines are what they're called on the sides. Um, also, this is the, the diameter or the size of the rope or cordelette that I use for my tarp setups. I've made several tarp canopy uh, videos and this is exactly what I use for that and then I get down even smaller into this diameter and this is what I use to make a prusik and I'm going to show you how to do a prusik and what it's used for coming up next. Go ahead grab yourself a piece of string or cordelette or a shoelace doesn't matter and then that way you can follow along all right let's do that. We're going to start with what is known as the bowline or the bowline okay you can say it however you want. That's the great debate. The pronunciation doesn't matter. You say it how you want. I'm just going to show you how to do this knot. Put the end of your rope down here, okay? Have your other end coming out. This is where we're going to be creating the bowline, all right? Now, the way that this works is you end up having this little loop right here, okay? And this has got to feed through, loop around, and do all this stuff. The hard part is remembering which way does this little loop go? Does it go over top? Does it go underneath? So this is one little trick that can help you out. If you have your loop, okay? Take the rope in your fingers, okay? Go over to this part, turn it over. Now, you can see you've got your little tab. It's already through the loop. You're gonna take that, go in behind or underneath that other piece. You're in behind, okay? Then you come back in to the loop from the top side, you give this a cinch, and there you go. That is 
your bowline or your bowline, okay? The nice thing with the bowline is even when you shock load this, you have a lot of weight on it, <clears throat> it's really quite easy to undo this knot. All you do is this little bump that's on the highest point here on the knot, all you're gonna do is fold this back and this loosens off and there you go, it's undone. Okay, here we go. We are going to do the trucker hitch. Super simple. I'm gonna show you on this table and then we're gonna go and string this up in the tree so that you can get an idea of how it works. Basically, all you're doing is putting a loop somewhere into your rope and then that loop is where you're gonna use as an anchor point to be able to cinch something up. Very simple. All you're doing is making a loop like this in your rope or in your cordelette and you're just gonna feed it through and pull it down and there you go okay trucker hitch and that's all you're doing all right we're gonna be wrapping around this tree right here I'm gonna show you just how quick that you can do this bowling you don't need a table to do this okay let's get going I'm gonna use this tree as my anchor point. This is gonna be our clothesline, or maybe it would be a ridge line for a tarp. Either or, we need to get the line strung across and we need to get the line taut as well. All right, now, you don't need a table to do your bowline or your bowline, okay? Like I said, grab it between your fingers. You've got your other end, just grab it, give it a twist. There we go, we've got our little loop, okay? Go around behind that piece, back through the eyelet, give it a tug, and look at that, there you go. I didn't need a table to do that one. And we're using that because we're gonna go around the tree. And that is where we're gonna feed the rope through. Let's get that up a little bit higher. And you can see that is what we are using it for. Just to give you an idea, there's our loop. Feed the rope through, give it a pull, and we are snugged right up. Let's go on over to the other side. And then we're gonna show you how that trucker hitch is gonna help us to get this line nice and tight. All right, we're ready to get this line up, get it tightened up so we can use it to hang up some bathing suits and towels, or you're gonna use it as a ridge line for a tarp, whatever it is. The whole point is we're using the trucker hitch in coordination with the bow line to get this piece of rope nice and tight between two anchor points. All you're doing is like I showed you before is putting a loop, okay? This feeds through and all you've got is a loop like this. Take the end of your rope, feed it through. Bear with me because I have a long piece of rope right here. But once we get this, now you can see it's starting to come together. All right, as I pull on this end, this is working like a pulley system. Can you see that? Pulling, I'm gonna raise this up on the tree a little bit. There we go. You see how that's working? This is working like a pulley system, okay? All we do is keep pulling, and this is tightening up this rope. So we just keep cinching this up. There we go. Now we've got this cinched up nice and tight. All you're gonna do is pinch it where it's gone through that loop. Just give it a pinch, take your rope, go through, all right? And then just bring it to it, and it's tied off. Now you don't want this to slip or come out, so all you gotta do is just put a second one. Go over top, come back through the loop, snug it up, and there you go. There is your trucker hitch in coordination with the bowline, and look at that, we've got a nice tight rope for our laundry or for our tarp. Here we go, we'll take a quick look. Okay, there is our trucker hitch. We've gone around through, and then the excess, I just looped it over top, pulled it through, did a second one, pulled it through, and we're good to go. All I gotta do is pull this first one, okay? And you can see how it was fed through there. And if I just pull this, this whole thing is gonna come apart. There we go, and that's how the trucker hitch works. It's around the tree and as I pull it this way that's where the tension goes on and then we just tie off that knot 
All right, next one I'm gonna to talk to you about. This comes in super handy. It's called a Prusik. It's basically just a loop. You can use a piece of rope on rope to lock something into place. I forgot to mention, this is called a double fisherman's knot. That's the one we tied to make this nice loop. When you get started, pull your double fisherman's knot down towards the bottom. You don't want to have the knot in the middle or at the top. You want to have it at the side. Go over top of your rope, give it a loop, take this end and go through the loop that you just made. Now, this is what it's going to look like so far. That loop or the bite that you put over this rope, take that, flip it over a second time. Now, you're going to take this and put it through again. Okay, this is what you're looking like so far as we cinch this up. This is what we are left with. When you slide this on the rope, it slides easily, but as soon as you pull on this, you can see how it holds. All right, let's go over to the tree and show you how that works. All right, there we go. So we've got our trucker hitch with a carabiner. We've got it cinched up and we have this tied on nice and tight. This is our big long cord. And of course it's looped through that we used a bowline to make this. Now we're gonna put a Prusik on here to attach a tarp and show you just how easy that is. We've got our taut line. Now we're gonna take our press a cord and all we're gonna do is go over top make a loop go through it so far that's what we look like okay take that that loop go over again take this end feed it through a second time we'll clean this up a little bit once we cinch it up just like we showed you on the table. There, that is our Prusik. Now, this slides very easily on this cord, but when we need it to, we can pull on this, and this is not going to slip. You can see how much tension, no matter what, that is not going to slip. You can actually use a Prusik to climb up a rope if you need to. I have done that before. That's how strong this holds. So if we want to tension a tarp we can use that so let's get a tarp going on and show you how it works what do you know i just happen to have a tarp <laughs> who would have thought so what i'm going to do is show you this is the process we're going to slide this one down this way okay i'm going to attach it i'm going to show you this in a second you guys have seen this if you've seen my videos i talk about these all the time this is called a figure nine it's made by night eyes it's got a carabiner clip on one end and then this on the other one. I'm gonna show you this. I've got a couple of clips to show you. But for right now, let's clip this onto my tarp, okay? And I'm gonna use this hook right here to hook into the Prusik. Okay, so now that's secured for my tarp. If I needed to, I could slide the Prusik all the way down. And now, I can tighten up my tarp. It's just that easy. These are simple knots, very effective and very useful. This is the stuff I use on a regular basis every time that I'm camping. And it just happens that I have a tarp clip that I'm gonna use because one of my grommets popped out. So the tarp clip is gonna come in handy right about now. Let's take a look at the different clips that I have, all right? I'm gonna show you a couple of the clips that I have that I use all the time. So you can have a full size carabiner like this. You can have the keychain size carabiner like the one that's on there right now. Then I've also got the figure nine. So this is the one that it clips into the tarp and then you can either use it just as a hook this way or if you need to tension something up, which I've showed in several of my videos. You can loop it around, pull, 
loop it onto that hooked end and it locks into place, okay? These are awesome. Grommets, the metal pieces in the eyelet on my tarp, that actually blew out. So I've also got a tarp clip. And the way this works, there's just a little clip on the top, you push that down. There's this slider which allows it to open up, just like this. We're gonna put that on and see if that's gonna hold this tarp into place. Let's go see how these work. Get this tarp strung up nice and tight, and then it's time for dinner. We'll keep going. Slide this all the way to the end. There we go. Now, like I was saying before, this one is missing the grommet. So, we're gonna use the tarp clip, and all we're gonna do is slide the teeth over top. We're gonna press down, slide that little slider. It keeps locking into place. Go one more. Now you can see how the tarp clip is clipped onto the tarp. Now, we're gonna get ourselves another Prusik going. Let's turn the camera so you can see me. There we go. Because the storm's coming, so we gotta get this going. Take our tarp clip with one of the figure nines to hold it into place. And then we can use this little hook to hook onto the Prusik, just like this. Slide this down and give her a tug. There we go. Look at how tight that is. Look at how tight the tarp is. Already by using those Prusiks, I'll grab the camera, I'll show you a close up. Another one of your clips. Buy a couple of these. Clip it over the string and onto the tarp. Now that's gonna hold it secure. Let's go onto the other side, loop it through both as well. Just like that. Let's show you what we're looking at here. Tarp clip attached to a figure nine, which is clipped in here, which is attached to our Prusik. And all we did was slide it on this line. Here we're clipped into the tarp. There's our Prusik that we've slid all the way. And you can see that is the knot. And that knot is not slipping. And look at that. That tarp is nice and tight. Well, look at There you go. Well, isn't that perfect timing? Thank you, Wind, for that. This is one of the quickest, easiest, and efficient ways to set up a tight line. And of course, if you want to do it for your tarp, this is what you can do. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that was helpful. Super simple. Like I said, keep it to the basics. This video is not for the rope experts. Three knots, a couple of clips, some rope. You're good to go. Just to make it easier when you go out camping. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining the channel. Lots of subscribers lately. That's great. I'll see you in the next adventure. I'm going camping. Bye. Okay, we're gonna talk real quick about the different kind of clips that I have that are super, super,